All right, recording has started, I think. Okay. I think. All yes, right. it has. Uh, it has. It has indeed. It has indeed. Oh, confir confirmed. All right. Welcome back to the Bluetooth Podcast. We're back for the ever so colorful chapter 640. Uh, I'm Zill. Sal. I'm Jewish. I'm Brian. <laughs> That's Brian. Yeah. Oh, that, okay. that Brian, is Brian. Brian, I said Brian. I'm not Brian. You said Brian. I said Brian. Stop making fun of my accent. You know what? Like, yeah. you, know, you have no super accent. You know why? There's there's an Irish lady in the cafe a couple of weeks ago. I'm sorry. Oh, you I told her about your accent. Even she you... laughed at you. She laughed at me. How did she laugh at me? She, she laughed at your accent. She's she's a fellow Irish woman who laughed at your accent, which means that your accent is the worst. Shut so no, face. you have no excuse. None. No excuse, other than the fact that this is the dialect I was brought up with, so no ex you have no excuse to be talking. Uh, yeah, you have no excuse for talking like that. None. Yes, you do realize None. Ireland is not a one-way street, right? It's, it is I'm an aware. island of things. <laughs> there is different dialects all over the country, right? I'm, a, I'm aware. It like is a still. land of dis different ethnicities and <laughs> religions and cultures and background. Oh, wait, no. No, no, it's no. not. <laughs> it's getting there, it's getting there with uh, my best friends also, from Zimbabwe. Also, we have a Cuban. Say hi, Cuban. Yeah. Cuban Link! Cuban Link! So, Cuban, Cuban Link. here at the Bleach Podcast, we want to know, how do you feel about being able to just go to Cuba anytime you want? <laughs> <laughs> Fucking great. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> how do you feel about the new happy relationships with Cuba? How do you feel about Donald Trump? I, I'm, not, I'm not sure you want to hear my opinions on that. Are you sure you <laughs> His opinions to... are he hates Cuba. <laughs> yeah. He's a self-hating Cuban. He is actually yeah. going to transfer one day into an EV. Transform, <sighs> not transfer. What? Transfer. Transfer your consciousness into an EV. Yeah, but he is. He is. We all, so. And he's going to go to Cuba and try to liberate them, and they're going to kill him and turn him into Mafunga. And then it's going to be EV Guevara. <laughs> they're going to grind him up and turn him into cigars. What do they do with the dead Cubans? Mm -hmm. Or what would you say, Che Evie? Evie Guevara. I don't know. Apparently, please don't uh, to him. What? Please, yeah, please, please don't. He, that guy mur like damn near murdered babies. Like, <laughs> let's stop acting like. Che and you know, and you know what? It, it just... some type of uh, of liberator or something like that. That guy I was don't. a monster. And you know, it I makes, know, it I makes don't, me sick. I, no, and I this this is this is real this is real talk right now. It, it makes me sick whenever you walk around a college campus seeing them wearing shirts with him. Yeah. Like, oh, yeah. Liberator. Like, yeah, no. Just, Wait, just ask, like, the, oh. what, God knows how many countries, including mine, that he fucked up. So, yeah. Yeah. We're talking about can, can we, can we, can we also bring, can, can we also bring up the fact oh. that he was a, an extreme communist and didn't like capitalism, and yet everyone is buying his shirts, which is capitalism, <laughs> and going, I support him. So they're stupid. The guy was freaking a murderer, and if it wasn't for him, you know, Cuba and a lot of other, you know, uh, Central and South American countries wouldn't have gone down the road that they did. Yeah, it's. Uh... So it's so confusing. Like it's, people just don't let themselves develop like slowly. It has to be oh no, it has to be no. Even though people aren't ready for it, let's just fuck everyone up. And if they don't agree, you get a bullet in the head, or get burned as the Russians right. do. Oh, oh well, yeah. that's how you do it. Yeah. Although oh, I do, yeah. I do love it. I think there was like a grand duchess in Russia or something like that who they kept trying to like kill. Well, they were killing her. She was dying, but like it took them ages. They had to end up throwing a grenade into a hole with her in it, and I think she survived that as well. Wait, 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 wait. <laughs> she, was she indestructible? Like, what, what do you mean? No, were, she did eventually she die, but she was. Dying, but they were her. Hold on, let me see. I need to find. Hold on, Elizabeth of where was she from? Hess, I'm pretty sure. Hold on. <laughs> So, well, I see we're gonna we're gonna postpone the the bleach talk for a bit. Hold on, sorry. Yeah, history with bleach. Hold on. Oh, uh, well, bleach history is for some reason we have a conqueror a thousand years ago we didn't know about. It was kind of vanished after mm -hmm. Bach. He's like, I conquered all of Europe and blah blah. blah now I get conquered the whole side, but we don't we don't have that. You mean you bleach did? You, you didn't know that we were there. Uh, yeah. Apparently, Bach. Oh, 
Right, Elizabeth. There we go. So it's this it's concept. Like, you are you are fading out like a robot, my friend. Right. Oh. Right. Let's see. So, according to the personal account of Vasily Ryobov, one of the killers, Elizabeth, and the other survivors, the others survived the initial fall into the mine, prompting Ryobov to toss a grenade after them. Following the explosion, he claimed to have uh, heard okay. Elizabeth and the others sing in an orthodox Oh, hymn. right. Right, hymn I remember reading about this. From the bottom of the shaft, unnerved, he threw down a second grenade, but the singing continued. Finally, a large quantity of brushwood was shoved into the opening and set alight, which upon Ryabov posted a guard over the site and departed. And the funny thing is, is that she was, whenever they were found, she was found actually... She apparently she had actually bound the injuries to someone else and yeah. died after. So it was as, like, a, as I recall, uh, her kids... Or, no, she didn't have not, children. Not she kid, didn't no, have not children. kids. Like there, are children. Uh, yeah, she related, was an orphan this, person. Uh, related to this, who were, um, who they're they're shot at, but they jewel through their clothes, so they survived the shooting, and they'd be stabbed for twenty minutes in order to kill them. Oh yeah, no, it was who who else was really indestructible? Uh, what do you call him? Rasputin. Uh, Rasputin. Yeah, he he died. Yeah, it was. Like, well, wait, no, no, no. He wasn't. He in real life wasn't indestructible. It was the legend surrounding him that made him. He was yeah. like, two shots to the head, but. But the legend was like, you know, he survived all this crazy crap. Yeah, and then they had to draw him, and they had to do all this shit. Yeah. But Mind you, they did all that. They did all that shit in one night. So, you know. Well, yeah. They, they, <laughs> in, in real life, they just capped him. So. In real good. life. Yeah. yeah, in real life. Yeah. yeah. When, they, when they found when they found yeah, an analyzed, like sir, when they yeah, when, they, when they found an analyzed the skeleton, like, the skeleton they kind of kind of. Mm. When they analyzed the skeleton, they, they found that he was just killed with two shots of the head instead of all this, like, you know, poison, blown up stab, whatever. Yeah, but the well, one I was talking... he could have been poisoned. He could have been poisoned. But the well, way... well, no. He, 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 they tried to poison him with, like, wine and cakes, but they didn't take, so they shot him. Yeah, well, right. her title is Elizabeth of Hessen by Rhine, or as she became her Imperial Highness Grand Duchess of Elizaveta Fyodorovna of Russia. I love Russian names, a class. And then she became a holy martyr. Anyway, yeah. how about uh, back to what about... you were saying about Bach? Yeah, Bach. I mean, not Bach, but by by Kubo. Um, that whole thing that there's a big loop, not loop, a uh, big uh, plot hole, where he sit there and decided to make this whole thing with about uh, you know Bach conquering this, that, and the other thing, and being some great and powerful dictator and whatnot. When the issue is that he never really set. I mean, besides Karakura Town and the other town that's right next to it, he never really set up anything outside of that for us to go along and say, oh, yeah, this is an entirely different world, separate from our own. Mm -hmm. But then well, again, they have a character who's Mexican and was yeah. living in Mexico, and then he came to Japan for some reason. Like Mexicans That's... go to Japan. <laughs> yeah, so, <laughs> so, so, so it's, it's clear this world is a bit different from ours already. So I think so. Bob yeah, it doesn't make no sense lo logically. <laughs> anyway, illogical. Yeah, well, anyway. well, we know that um, Sato does have a Mexican accent. It's like Kurosaki. I don't know that. I don't, I've uh, never heard that. I know. I'm saying it was a question. Do you remember the Sato question? Oh. Uh oh. Um. Anyway, so uh, on to this chapter. So. I just got skipping... anyway. Fine. Yeah, I, I. That happens a lot. You may as well get used to it. Um. But. So moving past the first color page of this chapter, because that'll be important later. Move on to the color spread, which is fucking awesome. And. It's, it's e every single stone writer, and it's so beautiful. But not Shaz, because he <laughs> is not a stone writer. Because too bad. Thank fuck. Yeah, I so, hear sorry, sorry to burst your bubble, everybody, but no, he's. No. I don't yeah. get it. What is it with the idiots? Like it's like, I want to know about Chaz, and it's like, he got it's one like, who the hell cares? He got one shot. This, this is not just one freaking page. Nobody cares. Yeah. I care because I'm a caring person. <laughs> They're not. Go oh, fucking not. shit, Sal. Yeah, I'm not a caring person. You don't care about <laughs> anyone. I can't, I can't, I can't back that up. He cares about yeah, me. No, but like, but literally, there. Every other Cerner has gotten more attention on their powers and personality than fucking Shaz. Even Jerome and Barony has got some more than he did. But see, this is not. This is not just on him. This is on all of the Stern Ritter. You know, 
people make the daggone thing, oh, why aren't all the exterminators such and such the same, or this, that, and the other thing? And I'm like, why are you daggone harping on this daggone point when, in fact, most of these characters are dead? So it's not like you're you're standing up for justice for them. Like, if you want to get mad about them not, you know, being, you know, revealed for this or revealed for that or having this much, then you need to daggone write a letter to Kubo. Mm. Don't come complaining to me because I didn't daggone write the fact that they were there five minutes and then they were do- dead the next. Like, come on. Well, m- most people <laughs> seem to think that we're affiliated with Kubo, so... Yeah, no, why, why, did, why did we, we cancel the anime? We canceled the anime. I, I mean, we I did. mean, don't... Don't 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 we, don't you know that uh, Star Wars Wiki is uh, run by George Lucas himself? No, oh, totally, yeah. Because he, he has he nothing makes... else better to do. I know nothing. that's all. That's all George Lucas does. He spends his time kicking people off his ranch and editing on Wiki. Yeah, yeah like yeah, you know, pretty much. when you have billions of dollars and stuff like that, you just sit there and type on Wiki all day. You know? Yeah. Uh, before we move on from the color page, I just want to make note that uh, Little Toto has a wiener in her mouth. Is she not eating a hot dog? Or an that's, egg chocolate that, eclair? That is a wiener. That looks like a chocolate eclair. A hot dog's a wiener. Oh, right. Okay. Sorry. Okay. I thought that was a dirty word for dick. Or penis. It is. <laughs> it is. <laughs> we know what you thought. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yes, we know. Don't you sass me. She wants, she, yeah, you want a wiener going in one air and coming the other, don't you? Excuse me. <laughs> Was that not two wieners in son, each son, son is st- still reliving her vacation to Spain where she saw a sexy <laughs> Spanish guy mm. and wanted his chocolate eclair. Oh no, I couldn't have his cho- I wouldn't be able to handle him. No joke. No. It was... <laughs> oh, I'm sure not. Oh no, I didn't mean it like that. Oh, he creeps. Um, no, he was, no, I mean, no, he had a lot of energy. <laughs> he danced a lot. Oh, I'm sure he did. Oh, danced a lot. <laughs> you mean... You you, you 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 were so busy, you know, between choosing between him and a nine year old boy. Oh god, stop it. Stop reminding <laughs> me of that creep. Oh, he's such a creep. Oh. Oh, I'm, sh- I'm sure you found out just how much energy he had. Uh, oh. What, the oh, child? Nice. I felt like beating the crap out of the child. No, the, the Spanish dude, you creep. No, no, he danced a <laughs> lot. He was, he was a dancer, and it was like, oh, lovely. Beautiful. Sorry. Oh, I just sat back on prob- You got a problem with dancers? I, I'm, I'm sure you put a rose. I'm sure you put your rose between his teeth. Hey, what's that supposed to mean? What do I do? <laughs> Spanish yeah. people have a thing about dancing. I learned that a long time ago. Went to a Puerto Rican uh, yeah. party, and let me tell you something. Not for me. Fine ass women, good food, good music, and everything like that. But they will hold you hostage. They will be in there dancing five days straight. <laughs> yeah, they love their. Dancing. I ain't trying to. I ain't trying to do all that. Yeah, I'm, I'm not gonna like. Sp- speaking from experience, yeah, that's. I'm yeah. not gonna sit there and salsa for five days without <laughs> no rest. Like, no, that's not gonna happen. <laughs> Come on, everybody, let's bachata. And like, no, no, we're, we're not doing let's all bachata. that. We're not. <laughs> let's, we're not doing all that. <laughs> Oh, let's let's shit. do let's do the Mufasa. Yeah, come on. <laughs> I'm gonna salsa right. for eight hours straight. Can I get some water? My feet are tired. I want to go home. Oh no, there's no leaving. <laughs> yeah, like, I don't think so. It's like, it's like it's on California. You can check out all you want, but you can't leave. Exactly. <laughs> you can see the front door, but you never seem to make it to it. Yeah, you, you get caught up. You, someone pulls you into another, uh, another, another cock- cockroach. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> All right, and, anyway. Sorry. Uh, but yeah, the, okay, sorry. So, on to the chapter. <laughs> yeah, on the chapter, oh. uh, for, first part, uh, Prina knows how to use a bow. Well, first part, okay. color, color page. Woohoo! You already sorry. did that. Did we talk about the color page? When did we talk yes. about the color page? We, we just did! Did we? We really, yeah. we really did. We I did. can't remember. What is your memory? I thought we just talked about the wiener. Okay, right. Did, did, did that Spanish dude fuck a few holes in your brain? Okay, yeah. No. Right. What? <laughs> she wishes. Anyway. <laughs> anyway, so on to Pranita, who knows how to use a bow, and used it to blow his way out of uh, the <laughs> the giant baby. Giant baby. Oh uh, yeah, at the, at the start before I actually That's realized just that really I disturbing. Actually... He blew his way out of a giant baby. <laughs> Oh, you can't, can't say that whatever you say, can you? Yeah. Oh, only, in, only in Japanese manga. Yeah, for a second, <laughs> actually, you I won't see that. Way out the no, giant no you won't see that in any DC or Marvel comic 
Only so, in o- Japanese o- things. Only in Bleach and maybe Berserk. You ain't seen that shit in Naruto. <laughs> yeah, that, yeah, that's true as well. Yeah, Naruto likes really his not now. But, um, yeah. you know, when actually when he did that, I, I was looking at it and I was really tired for me to, like, travel on holiday or whatever. I barely got any rest on holiday. But, um, basically, there was, uh, um... Whenever I was looking at it, I, like, do you ever see whenever you, you look at something for the first time and you kind of have to, like, focus for a second, like, to get your eyesight working? I actually thought it was Uru for a second. I was like, what, what, what? No, oh, no. And I was like, no, he has a bow in his fingers. Oh, that's cool. He was like, you forgot him a Quincy. But it was, like, really weird. I was like, yeah, why would it? Yeah, you know, Uru's giant ma- muscular left arm just kind of reached out of the baby. Yeah. <laughs> the his fingers. No, but it went, no, I mean, do you ever see when he <laughs> shot and you, like, turned around and then he turned around and it was, like, there... I could, it was like really bad. My eyesight was uh, really bad at the time. Yeah, but no. So, so Prina could fire fucking huge arrows. One just kind of blew up a tower. And he can, and and which, he can fire them from his fingertips. Which, let's take note of the speed of Mayori. He yeah. Is, <laughs> he is actually, I'm, I was actually surprised. He is masterful at freaking evasion. Yeah. Like, that was, that was pretty skilled. Like, I didn't think he was that spry. <laughs> Yeah, he's just like, it's like, arrow! Just get him out of the way. Just, 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 he's, yeah, he's just, he's the only one of people who doesn't tend to get very active in a fight. He's very much, you know, chilled and relaxed, so that was kind of shocking, yeah. Yeah, so, uh, so, Prinia has got what I would consider the largest, uh, spear weapon in this series. Aside, aside from maybe box, like, Sonk, Bogan, whatever, the thing that he used to shoot himself. So, um, Prinia's all like, I'm a Quincy! Or, my ear's like, ah, what a, what a fag. And, <laughs> no, it's like, I don't care. <laughs> yeah, yeah, and then Pretty is like, what the fuck do you say about me, little bitch? And, uh, but, he's, but he says it very eloquently, which is, uh, a shocker. Yeah. And he gr- regrows his, thou- fi- his, his fingers. What did thou say to me? What yeah. Did what did thou say to me? Yeah, look at that. What did thou say? Yeah, so he regrows his fingers so they can flip off my area pro- properly. And, uh, and then my is like, Wait, so is he evolving, or what's going on? Because the, the I, whole, I, like, I'm speaking better is my plot point. What, what are you going to say? I'm just going to say that whenever Nemu saves him from the arrow, it looks like the actual scene yeah, but, is but, cool. But, 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 We're not there! Oh, right, fun. okay, sorry. Goddamn. Sorry. Spoilers. We were talking about it in his but then, but then we see something really interesting. He generates five. I know, from the five. fingertips, that's Bogan. awesome. <laughs> yeah, that, that is, I, I think, I believe that is, that is the only instance of someone reliving more than one at once. I think even Rob only had one at a time. One and time. he connects his nerves it's a to the record. Hit. Yeah, it's a whole new record, and he fires, uh, compulsory arrows. Which yeah, are better. which bend. And Miyori was doing a good job freaking dodging them, except the one, like, con- came in contact with his arm, and he just blew it off. Yeah, and then, then, then Bria bends the arrow and sends it back at him because, fuck. Because, yeah. <laughs> Why not? Yeah, because, because, God, because goddamn, that, that's how good he is. And, yeah. uh, to, to, to save the day, Nemu grabs it, and then she cuts off her own arm. Notice, <laughs> Zanpak toe in her hand. Yeah, <laughs> no, it was awesome, like, replay it, but then you didn't get to see it properly. It's like a... F- Fizz. But but can I just say in that scene where she actually you know comes across and like saves him, it's quite a cool scene until you actually look and she looks like she has one tit. So it's like, what is that? It's like just one bump. Where's the other uh, one? I I I think like Mayuri's cloak went between her boobs, so it just like she, hit no, the other didn't. one. Lies. She looks it like she has like one did. boob. Maybe she does. Maybe Don't she judge. does. <laughs> Don't judge. She's she, the triple breasted horror erotic. The, the next one will have six one. boobs. <laughs> Well, we know Mayori's weird, so you you don't know what he does. Yeah, yeah well, <laughs> you don't you don't you don't know him, but uh, so uh, so Mayori's on the ropes here. Like uh, until Nemu steps in, he would have got hit by that arrow, and so uh, then he grabs Nemu and th- moves them both away and throws her against the wall because you know abuse <laughs> because he's Mayori. Yeah, he's, and uh, he abuses or something shocking. And then we get something. Then we get something interesting. We get a pay. We get sort of sort of payoff for the past few chapters. Uh, foreshadowing. I almost said foreshadowing. It's foreshadowing. Um. So, uh, Myers all like, you stepped on your on your own. I didn't teach you that. And Nemo was like, yeah, I don't, I don't know, fucking know why. So, so Myers is like, no. Uh, like, uh, he calls her Namuri Nanago, which means seven. Namu number seven. Something something like that. 
and um, and then he says, uh, "Do you know how difficult it will be to raise the next you in the same way I raised the current you?" And uh, yeah, and then he says, "You can't die on your own." Yeah, it's so, I, I, maybe he's finally showing emotion. Maybe. No, maybe no, he, maybe he loves her more than he loves science. You're not allowed to die of your own accord. You can only die when I order you to. Yeah. And then like she seems to understand, but what's interesting is, is that right there in the left side it says a secret about to be revealed. Revealed. Yeah. Yeah. So. Uh, I just so. hope we don't. I just hope he doesn't have like a room. Like, do you ever see like full of like warped Sigourney Reavers or warped Nemis in this case? You know, and one of them's like, "Kill me, kill me." <laughs> you know? Well, I'm pretty sure he's so. probably way past that stage. He probably does have those. <laughs> so, so there. I, I found. Well, a, wait, a... actually, I, I think I remember like one of those things in the anime. You know, like those extra scenes at the end where it's like they wait, showed my you like. His... Like, like, yeah. like, my yeah. subordinates found his closet, and he looked like super embarrassed. Like, what if it was a bunch of Nemo's in there? Yeah. And they freaking found them, and he's like, "Shit." One of them stresses yeah. a sex sleeve. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, but but um, so I, I found a couple uh, interesting theories in the internet since uh, Thursday rolled around. So, one was that uh, the, the whole thing in the end where he, he's like, "You can't die on your own until I tell you to." So, uh. Nemu is technically not Mayuri's daughter. It, well, it was, we knew that. She's, just, she's not biological, but, but like he he did create her. He created life and raised it and taught it and stuff. So in a way, she is kind of his child, and she and right now he's kind of dealing with um, the burden of having a child, and so he's kind of telling her to not throw her life away meaninglessly like that. And I mean, yeah, I mean. Was... I, 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 it, it, I, it's, it does, it's it does sound it. like what he said, but that also does not sound like Riori. So. Yeah, I know, I know. It's one way <laughs> of looking at it. It's one way of looking at it. It's also, um, people have been wondering, okay, so why does, if, if that's true, then why does he care much about Nemu, uh, even if, even though he's treated like, like, like goddamn shit the entire series? And, uh, I found something interesting on, uh, on the Reddit, uh, conversation, so, um... So his his Ambakto has a like a baby theme with the baby face and the bankai that's a giant baby and stuff, and people people have been thinking that he might have had like a, a child at some point that died, and so uh, in or he created he tried to create one to make up for it, which is kind of like it's it's a very uh, it's a very common trope uh, in fiction, but um what's more interesting is that uh, the Jizo, the Jizo in his Ambakto name as the Jizo. It is a Buddhist DD whose statues are linked to, and often are built in memory of, dead, stillborn, or miscarried babies in Japan, uh, who are supposed to guide them from heaven to limbo. So, if that's true, then this has been planned out for quite a, quite some time. Well, I mean, his. I'm not. I'm not saying that like the, the idea that that he um had a had a kid at some point is automatically going to be true, but Could be. it feels like, like, like yeah, it feels like like, like it might be um. Actually, behind Nem's existence. Yeah, maybe Beyond... he's trying to recreate her or something if he lost her and stuff. And because you gotta, you gotta think, like, why would he create her in the first place? Beyond like to prove that he could, you know? Like and that's what it what what scientists like him do. It's never a question of could he. It's a question of you know. It's never it's never a question of should you know could he. It's like you know sh should he and he did, you know, straight Jurassic Park style. <laughs> Yes, it's never, it's never should I, it's like, will I? And it's always... Yes, almost, I yeah. will. Yeah. <laughs> why not? I can, so why not? So, yeah. So, basically, Nemo was starting to gain some sort of free will interactions by saving Mayuri without him ordering uh, her to. And uh, now now they're both down an arm, but, you know, that doesn't really matter with the signs. So, so yeah, what are, what are your guys' take on, uh, on all this, this craziness? Well, I th I actually think that's quite cool. Listening to that, that you know, it could have a, have had a daughter in the past, and is like trying to kind of fill in the role. Did you ever see like those people that like have the real life dolls and stuff, and it's creepy as fuck, might I add? Yeah. And they like cling to them as if like you know, they're their babies because they've lost babies or whatever. So yeah, maybe might be cool. Sorry. Mm -hmm. Might be some. It's something that might be unexplored in Bleach, you know. So. Yeah, uh, Shift Future. What do you what are your what are your thoughts? certainly would be kind of a differentiating from 
Mayuri's character because you don't really know that much about him besides, you know, he's crazy, but he's crazy. I don't know. Like he looks like he might actually have a heart. There might be something that just drove him insane, you know. There's He might have heart. He's I mean, not look, a Grinch anymore. I mean look well look at Fairy Tale. What is it? What is it? It's size. like it's been revealed that spoilers alert for Fairy Tale, by the way, but it's been revealed that, you know, that Natsu is the end and he was created because out of the grief of Seraph, because it's Seraph's little brother, so uh kinda cool. It's something. Something seems oh. to be on the loose at the minute, maybe. Uh, I I have no idea what A that means, but alright. Natsu is the Basically, main... the Natsu I know not, is the I know main not character Natsu. is the Dagon. Actually, turns out to be a younger brother of Zareph, the most powerful dark wizard in, in the world. Yeah, not, Natsu is basically. And the that most he team. died a long time ago, and then basically Zareph brought him back to life. Right. Okay. And I, his I point it. is for Natsu to basically kill him because. He's cursed with immortality or some crap. Yeah, like he, he, the reason right. Seraph got so powerful was to try to revive his little brother, and he actually became a dark mage because of it. And now it's like, just kill me. But he wants him to become stronger to do it. So he's kind of been driven insane, basically, by the loss of his little brother, basically. Right. So, um, so going back a bit to, uh, to Mayra's comments on raising another Nemu and, you know, the current her. So I mentioned uh, in the chat that this reminds me of uh, Rei Ayanami from Evangelion. And um, it, it struck me that maybe this was... Um, Nemu is, like, is sort of like a, an homage to her because she's like a really famous character. Mm -hmm. uh, so, I mean, I think like, I'm probably like the only one in this call who has watched it. So I'll, I'll give like a brief of what of what that is. So uh, in, in uh, Evangelion, uh, Rei Ayanami is, um, is, is like Nemu. She's like emotionless and... She, like, follows orders and stuff. Um, but a big part of her character is that she is replaceable. If she dies, there are more clones of her to take her place with her with her memories. And so she has a lot of struggle over the fact that, that like, she can just, like, be, you know... So her entire memories replaced. get transferred over then? Pr pretty much. She so. can be replaced if necessary, and that's a big part of her character. But she's struggle. getting replaced by herself. Yeah, it's it's a bit exactly. Different. Exactly, but like, but like, sort but, but, of sounds sort of different the way he described it. He described it that he would have to go through the effort of raising Nemu again to something. Well, yeah, yeah, I know. I'm not, I'm not saying it's exactly the same, but like, the whole thing is that like, she basically, she knows that if she dies, it's not like as important if anyone else dies because she just gets, she just comes back in a new body, and I feel like it's. Uh, and she, and like I said, she's really famous. Uh, there's a lot of characters in a lot of series that uh, that pay homage to her, and I feel like Nemu might be like that because she got like the emotionless thing going, and now she's got the uh, the sort of like self clone thing going. Where if she, if she dies, Mary could like just get another one of her. It would take time, but she's kind of like expendable. Although Mayuri now considers her uh, not quite as expendable as maybe another one because she's starting to gain you know sentience and free will. And and so did uh, Ainami eventually, but yeah. Yeah, well, I mean, yeah, I like that whole thing that you know, it's kind of alluded to that she's basically just like a drone sort of thing, and actually now it's like I never taught you that. What are you doing? So yeah, things, I like that. It's like I mean, self-aware. I don't think she's gonna get quite the uh, the same importance or power that Ainami did because eventually Rayan and Ainami uh, ended the world. But, uh, oh. you know, okay. yeah, it, it, it's complicated, but she, uh, she, she, uh, like, cl collide the moon with the earth and stuff. And That's very fun. nice of her, thanks. Yeah, I mean, it, you have to watch series to understand, like, the importance of it, but that, that's all. Yeah, all right, uh, so. And, um, so, yeah, I, I feel like next chapter is going to explain, because, and like I said, uh, the very first color picture this before the spread was, um, presumably... Nemo waking up for the first time as a baby, with uh, Mayuri's weird, gross white hand uh, in view, and uh, so I, I guess I, I'm getting I'm guessing to explain more uh, next week too, because for right now the end of the chapter is more of a setup for like explaining Nemo's birth and stuff and stuff like that. So 
Yeah. Well, there's, there's a part of me doesn't want to know a lot of history on Mayuri if that is the case, kind of. Do you ever see, like, whenever, like, you find someone and you like the character because, like, they're mysterious and they're fuck nuts yeah. or they're dark and evil and they're that's just their sole character and then they, they're interesting because you don't know why they're like that and then whenever you learn about it, it kind of annoys me a wee bit after a while because then it's like, oh, the mystery's gone. Ugh. So I'm kind of like, do you want that? Do you not? Some characters I don't want to learn about in the background, but mm. some I do, obviously. You know, there's development and stuff, but Yuri is one of them ones that you love because he's just an absolute mental tard. And it's like, I love you. And so, well, I feel like the one uh, the sort of development it, that wouldn't like affect that and would also be what people have asked for is why he ended up in the maggot's nest. Yeah, well, because I get that. for a long time, everyone's like, you know, what crime did he commit? Well, he, and we, he wanted to be and, there. Well, yeah, but like, but how did he get in there? Because it's not like you know. Oh, can I, can I, you know, go to a maximum detention oh, yeah. facility that I can't ever leave? Can't really ask for that. Yeah, I know. So. I don't know. I get that, but it's, it just sort of might humanize him a little bit. And sometimes I don't like it when a character that is just almost beyond human becomes humanized. So it's just sort of like, like I really hated it when I found out the history of Obito. Really friggin' hated it. It's like, ah, oh, no, just I don't want. I just want you to be friggin', you know, just. Uh, just be Toby. Just be someone new. No, no, no. It has to be over to. I'm uh, so remembering that one post I saw yours. It's the people who say Toby is Obito. They're crazy. That's not. No, possible. I didn't <laughs> say that. I didn't say what I said was was that it was. I just hate it when people just jumped in for no reason because it was there was nothing hinted towards it. It was like he was walking around calling himself Madara, and it's like just shut up and just leave it and let it go. Can we just whatever? Part of me also because it just sort of came out of nowhere, and part of me kind of felt like. Is he just doing that to pander to fans, sort of? So, I don't know, it's oh, weird. Sorry. Yeah. Because, well, he, look at him, he got crushed, and it was like, why? And then it was like, oh, I injected you with DNA, no, no, I'm fuck off. But I, I did, know. but the one thing I did like about that was actually you seeing that Kakashi had always had, I can never pronounce this, Mangako Syringan. It always, it, it had it the entirety of the series, you know, from the start of the series, because he had actually killed his best friend, so it was kind of like, oh, you killed me. So he'd always had, he was the one that awakened it for both of them, if you know what I mean, so. Yeah. Yeah, sorry. Anyway. Off the Naruto thing. We should do yeah. a new podcast for other animes now, too, since we're all just always talking about other animes. <laughs> and Sal, yeah, loves, I, I... Sal loves his fairy tale. And, and, and well, he, I'm sure he loves Full Metal more. That was he the first, the first question oh. I got whenever I got home. It was like, I was like, I'm like, I'm home, and it was like, so what did you think of Fairy Tale? <laughs> I don't know. I just got home. <laughs> oh my goodness. I haven't right. had internet for a week. Give me a break. I've had the crappy internet for a week. Yeah. Okay. Sorry. I'll, uh, hmm. Hmm. Is there anything else to talk about for uh, this chapter? Because. I mean, it felt a lot very packed, but I think we've already gone through everything. Yeah, no, it was great. No, I, I liked the chapter. It was kind of interesting. Actually, since I wasn't in the podcast last week, and I say I didn't like last week's po- last week's chapter, I didn't like it. It was kind of weird. It was like, oh, I have oh. 64,000 layers of fucking nerves, nah, or some shit like that. Like, oh, right, Are okay. you telling me you didn't like more demon babies? I don't like demon babies. I hate demon babies. But Are you demon crazy? Demon babies are love, demon babies are life. Life. You like yeah, demon I, babies? I, mean, uh, well, it's, I don't it, really it, know. Here's, here's, here's the thing. Uh, it's kind of like a rule for um, people that if Mary does anything, it's okay. Because he's crazy. Cause... So if, if he brings out demon babies, alright. If it was any other character, if, if it was if it was like Urahara bringing a demon baby, like, oh no, no, oh please, God. If it's Mary, it's like, alright, let's go. No, Mayuri, uh, no, I, I don't I, think I, it's I any of I don't think there's anything wrong with him doing it. Like, I mean, it's Miri and he's a fuck nut. But, um, it's. I just don't like the look of him. I hate that baby. I've always hated that baby. Ever since I first saw it, I was like, what the fuck's the point of that? You black just guy? hate it because it's black. It's a yellow baby. Wait, wait what? <laughs> wait. What? It's a yellow baby. Sorry, I was talking about the, the bigger baby. Is the bigger baby black? Yeah. It totally is, but sure. Oh, yeah. Okay, okay, yeah. Let's let's go with that. So let's just oh, yeah. go with that. Oh yeah, I guess um, before going to anything else. So for since ever since uh, I, I guess six thirty eight, Myers had a new a new hairstyle, right? Like the the stripes of hair. 
So you finally got a side view of it in this chapter, and oh my god, it's like the most anime hair you could ever wish for. It's it's literally like three bands of hair attached at the front and back of his head. Everything else is bald, and it's like arching over. Like, how the fuck do you do that? It's Miyuri, he's mental. I know, but like, how do you hair like that? How do you replace your organs inside like an R? That, that's, that's one thing, that's science. How do you hair like that? Like, no, literally, literally it, it, it's hair that's connected on two ends of his head. Like, your hair doesn't do that. It doesn't do that. Oh, I see what you mean about the baby. There was two babies, that's right. Yes, there was, yeah, uh, well, there was, you know. there was demon baby and then nerve baby. Yeah, it's kind of weird. It's weird. Well, it's well, it's Miguri. It's fine. I can accept it, but I just don't like babies. Oh, creepy babies creep me out. I don't like. Do you ever see those babies that when you look at them now? No, I'm not talking about babies where there's something obviously wrong with them. You know, like if they have a birthmark or something on their face or whatever. But do you ever see the babies that are just not pretty babies, and everyone's like, "Oh, look, he's so cute." And you're like, mm, "He's a, he's adorable." Mm -hmm. It's like, please don't leave me. No, when what I sleep. you do is he's like, oh look, yeah, isn't he cute? And he's looking like, oh yeah, oh yeah, he. I... Look at that, uh, look at that cute outfit he has on. <laughs> well, you know what? I imagine that like that some babies are like it to their mothers when they're first born, not not like later, but like when they're coming out. Because I remember learning yesterday that uh, I. How many babies a... have you seen coming out? I'm oh. just talking about in general, cause uh, okay. yeah, I've watched no. Uh, but like I remember when I said that. Akira wants me to watch this one. I'm I was uh I was a C-section because uh, my shoulder was so wide that uh they like that they couldn't be pulled out the normal way. And <laughs> He's like, so I space. came out as a linebacker. For <laughs> yeah. Seattle yeah. Seahawks. No. Yeah. No. My, my mom was like, my mom was like, he was like a football player in my womb. Like I I, I had to pull my stomach. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Poor mom. <laughs> yeah. No. I had to get, uh, if you need to get Tom Brady for to be your doctor and just have him go, what? And just pop out. Yeah, no, I know. I needed a Korean to open him. Like, yeah. No, I came out of the womb with shoulder tackling the doctor. That was me. Yeah, that happens. I would I would say, I would try to say a football term, but I don't know anything about grid Football! I'm not familiar with grid iron, so sorry. Well, yeah, you're not you're not, you're not not familiar with the pigskin instead of the soccer ball. <laughs> the what? The pigskin instead of the soccer ball. That's what that's what we call the football over here. The pigskin. The pigskin is that because people go, oh, you can't be gay, but you can't touch those stuff, or what? No, oh, it, it, you what? Can say they're they're made <laughs> of pigskin. Was that was that not in was that not in West Wing when he was like, you're not supposed to touch? No, uh, uh, American footballs actually did used to be made of pigskin. Yeah. Ew. Way back when. Now it's just a nickname. What do you mean? It. Ew. People used to wear like. Skin, just yeah, animal. People, no, people, people still do wear condoms. freaking skin yeah, and so, animal so, byproducts. So why is it only goes to you to throw it? <laughs> what is it? What is it? They use use pig intestines for condoms, didn't they? Oh, <laughs> oh, and let's let's have it haggis. Oh, go, go, goat intestine food. Sheep, sheep, uh, freaking shepherd's pie, oh, haggis, shepherd's pie. all that stuff uses. Freaking yeah, for golf on haggis. Uses organ meat, like sitting there. Eating like a bunch of ghouls. Yeah. Swear to God. So, uh, so yeah, I guess. I guess I suppose that's, that's kind of it for this, uh, this, this chapter. Although, the, I guess, um, there's one more thing. So, back when my, when Pernita briefly, uh, changed speaking patterns, I, I assume it, oh, it yes, that was cool. I, I assumed it changed the the speech pattern in Japanese, like the way it spoke, so that it came off as more eloquent than like the, because prior to this, it's been speaking entirely in katakana like a child. So yeah, now, I'm... and 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 then it, it only recently used kanji. So uh, my area is two theories: either it's regaining its memories of sulking, or it's evolving. And yeah, it's I imagine like... that, that that ties into governing uh, advancement and such. Yeah, because I'm thinking it must only happen when he fights because it's, or she, Pernita, because I do sometimes think it might be a female hand. Um, but, uh, but when, when, like, it fights, it basically, because why would it only suddenly, suddenly learn how to talk? I mean, 
the stern ritter elite aren't exactly the most quiet of bunch so it should learn how to talk properly or evolve around them so it must be only when he's fighting or something like that yeah that i mean it, it could talk before and like leal translated but... no i think something changed because previously before that it was basically you know following the same daggone principles as any other daggone uh quincy not mm -hmm. really talking and just making this weird, you know, whatever sound. Well, I... Ever since, ever since, you know, uh, it's actually been, you know, attacked by Zaraki or whatever, that's changed. And it not only revealed itself, but it, you know, started talking. And then its talk went from, like, you know, fragmented sentences to full-on sentences and what's interesting about that is is that Miyori has brought up the fact of what it really is multiple times and it doesn't seem to have any inclination of any of that yep I mean even in this particular even in this particular uh, chapter it says I've always been a Quincy and I'm like yeah, that doesn't seem likely I said something's some, and so it leads you to believe that something is really off here, and that's what Miyuri is kind of like picking up on, like but something's wait, not did, right. Yeah, what directly, was the right hand? Did, was it always a Shinigami or something? But yeah. did it ever directly deny that it was the left arm? It, 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 it never. Oh, it, it said it's not the it's, left arm. It said, yeah, it, it said it's it, not. It said it, left arm is not my name or something like that. Yeah, it, like yeah. in six or seven when it was so first started talking, it was like le le not left arm, Pernita, Pernita, you know. Yeah. yeah. It's so, basically uh, been denying what it is the entire time, so something is going on. Yeah, and, and I... I mean, there's also a chance that it's not. May maybe, but... it's a, maybe it's... Well, maybe it's... I mean, I don't know any many characters that went around looking like hands. <laughs> well, <laughs> well Wait, you, gotta, I know... <clears throat> you gotta take into consideration that, you know, this is probably some kind of fucked up shit a box doing. Yeah, or may maybe but... this... Uh... Okay, so wait a minute. We have to believe yeah, that it's some fucked up shit that Bach is doing to Mayori. <laughs> like guys, he's so important. I, I don't know. This guy's mind. Maybe <laughs> maybe, maybe Pernita is a is secretly a bount. Oh and well. God. Absolutely. As long as he's not a red guy. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Then we're cool. Uh, so if he's a red guy, I'm not reading this oh. anymore. Uh, also, <laughs> I, I, I saw. I just want to say that I'm imp I'm, imp I'm pretty impressed that uh, it only took Pranita using its basic Quincy abilities to start overwhelming Mayuri. Like that that was that was that was pretty. There hype. is nothing basic about those abilities. No, I I mean um it, it's bow and arrow. Like like that's like that's like the bare minimum of a Quincy, and that's all I had to really start using in order to, to like catch Mayuri off guard and shit. But when he when he was actually overwhelmed, no not Mayuri really Mayuri was actually arrows. doing good Quite until well. he like changed the trajectory of the dag or freaking. Thing, and then that yeah. was <laughs> and that, that, can of, I say that that is also cheated. not basic <laughs> yeah that, that was like a cheat right there well, yeah like, but, but he was he was still using like it just just like it wasn't like you know oh I'm gonna use Rancid Ten guy or those those fucking like what whatever I forget what they're called the uh the the the, the, the Ginto or whatever it is those Ginto techniques or even like the spells it was just like arrows fuck you up and I mean, he even said, "I'm a Quincy. I use bow. I use bow and arrows to kill people." Yeah, I get. I get that it's like Quincy abilities, but those are not just basic Quincy abilities. Like we never seen Uru bend arrows. And Actually, stuff. apparently, we well, did. he used his he used his ability to dag and facilitate that. So. I'm yeah, sure, I'm I know, sure I know, Uri, but that's not I'm basic. Sure I mean, saying during, it's not uh, just basic. Like, oh yeah, no, this is just this is easy. Everyone yeah, can do this kind of thing. I'm, pr I'm pretty sure during the time of Suruchi, or you bent his arrows and changed the direct trajectory. So, I mean, we we say that on, on uh, during the fight with Suruchi. According to his page, he did that. So, Suruchi, who's Suruchi? Suruchi Sandwich. Oh right, Suruchi Sandwich. Right, gotcha. I mean, it says on his page. That he bent the Naru? Yeah, they they changed the direct the, the trajectory, yeah. Like at the same the same capacity the thing just yeah, did like a yeah, and he bent a, it like a, at a, a fucking yeah, 180 after, degree after angle. He fired it, after he fired it, he changed the way it was going. Alright, so, okay. Cool. Uh, so maybe. But uh, but yeah, so finally Mayuri was was legit overwhelmed. And he 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 almost got, got hit until Nemu stepped in, so uh props to Prina for doing that.
Props. Props. So, yeah, um, maybe, mm-hmm. I, I guess that's the end of uh, the review podcast. No, it's not. It'll never end. Never. Okay. Never. <laughs> just, just like female oppression. What? <laughs> what? Oh dear. Yes. <laughs> you just went there. Oh no, you dare! Oh yes, um, I did. You don't fine. know me. Also, I would, I would care to bring up. Oh, um, boy. I read something. Well, I you know read this a while ago and stuff like that. But, um, I think a year ago, uh, some you know people were saying that that it was you know a real likelihood that you know Bleach was going to be done. Um, this year, and it doesn't <laughs> no. seem like that's a possibility. But I will say, it more seems like that it most likely will be done. Maybe you know, and this is just what I, you know, my opinion on it. But it seems like it most likely will be done sometime around mid 2016. And probably at a respectably high 700 chapters. Um, that sounds right, although... Uh, it's hmm. considerable amount of chapters till that happens. You know, <laughs> not not counting uh, the rest of the chapters for this year. And uh, If, you, if you wanted to be at 700, it would go until, like, late 2016, because there's only, like, well, 48 chapters in the year, yeah, you know? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, basically. So, so, so but, somewhere yeah, there. Yeah. Good, my point. I, I, Why is I'm everyone saying, talking yeah, about it being cancelled and stuff? What the hell is happening? Oh, on, on my blog, so essentially, um, I, I brought up on my in my review that I was surprised at like how few uh color pages we had gotten over the past over the past few like Centuries. several months because yeah, cause, because usually we get we because like but prior to uh prior to that we had gotten one like maybe every five to ten chapters like it was like it was it was it, it wasn't but then we got none for like, like 20 and i was like so what's up and so uh leah came back on and, and so apparently uh the whether or not a series get a color gets a color page in the in the weekly jump is based on its popularity and bleach is not very popular it's in, usually in the bottom three and uh basically only, it only got one this week because it's the 14th anniversary of uh of the series so Did you say the bottom three sure bleach yeah. and Naruto and one piece are considered the top three it, it's like, no that's that's the big three for how long it's been going and how much it's sold. But in terms of like the current popularity in in the rankings of the of Shonen Jump, it's in the bottom three. I've looked at some of them and it, it usually is uh, down there, which is which is pretty sad. But uh, and Leah was like, oh, it's a miracle it's been canceled. The reason it's been canceled is because uh, people buy a lot of the volumes, around five hundred thousand uh, when they come out, like for each one, and yeah. so. And so that's why it's it's still like going on. It's like we can't like it would, it would like if if it went like you know like if it dropped down to like four hundred thousand or something, it might get canceled. But it's still going pretty strong. So yeah, that, that's all. And um, I believe uh, one of the reasons that it isn't as popular in in the weekly release is because a lot of the readers are uh, are older than the the, de- the the demography for Shonen Jump, which is for like young boys. And they wouldn't want to be caught reading the the magazine, so they just wait for the long, for the volume. That's all. Alright. Uh, uh, so that's all. It's not gonna be canceled anytime. It's a bit like time. me. I like to buy like the like Pants comic books in volumes kind of form. Yeah. It, if it was being canceled, uh, I think I think I think people would just like uh, his mom probably. Uh, I wish. But um, if, if it's being canceled, I think Kubo would get advance notice, and he'd probably try to wrap up things. So we'd see like a lot of like r- like rushed uh, yeah. plot development in the series. Like I remember uh, this one series called Hungry Joker was going fine, like at a steady like shown in base until like chapter eighteen, and then it just started speeding the fuck up. Like it it, it got through like multiple like uh like power level ups in like a single chapter, and left an and a cliffhanger. That's because they I got canceled. So. Yeah. So uh, that, that, that's all. Oh, that's sad. Very sad. Yeah, yeah. It, it was a good, it was a good series too. Pretty intelligent. I thought the end of uh, of Film Alchemist was a bit rushed. It was very much, oh look at this big build up, and then oh yeah. Huh? Oh, oh my no. The manga or that. the or the first anime. I'm talking about the second anime. I've never read the manga. Oh, the manga oh. was the manga was fine. 
I think. Uh, yeah, I love the way you said the, the first was, manga. The manga was a good hundred some chapters, like hundred eight. Uh, yeah, hundred or seven hundred eight. Yeah. I hate your manga. I don't know. The the another the problem the only problem with the second anime is they try they did rush a lot of the things that were already in the first. So yeah, yeah. Like the, the the early parts essentially. Yeah, they they rushed it very early in the in the very beginning because it's like oh, all this shit was already in the two thousand three anime, so let's just rush it. Like, eh, eh. Yeah. They could have they could have extended it some of that a little more, and they could have maybe gone like seventy five episodes. Yeah. Oh yeah. So, but so... my whole thing was as soon as it ends, then or at least gets to the near the end or whatever, that'll make it you know more possible for us to finally get what everybody really wants and that's for that anime anime oh yeah and so, 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 animals. Yeah, animals. so 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 can be like oh we can see my Aries, uh new new look in color in color yeah I'm in techno we... color and techno color i have no way it looks in really 3d because i know someone wants to see that baby me Come or the baby show <laughs> me baby Oh, oh yeah, I, I want to oh, see. Oh my, uh, my nephew's gonna be born in like three, two weeks, two to three I, weeks. I, I can wait. See, I want to see Kamara's Bankai. In, Although Kira wants me to watch it, and I'm like, no, it's not happening. In, in color and motion, I want to see that. That'd be tell so them hard. while they're in there pushing out that baby to go in there and tie her tubes. <laughs> yeah, she needs it. Yeah, but uh, <laughs> yeah, but uh, like, sip the deck on Doctor a fifty dollar bill. I I, I, I want to see. I really want to see uh, Kyle Murr versus Bambietta uh, in in the anime because holy shit, holy shit, that'll be awesome. Kyle Murr versus Bambietta. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, with a giant. Yeah, that'd be, see Young oh, that'd be cool. Can, can I just make a point that on on that path control one that seems to be an anime only ability? Just bring it up, by the way. What? Uh, that, uh, that path control uh, one because I've looked uh, through the manga and there's none there in the relevant pages. Yeah, uh, probably not. But it's fine. It's still, it still it doesn't contradict anything in the manga, so it's fine. I'm just saying it just seems to be an anime only one for the Yorio thing. Sorry, I get it's, obsessed when people tell me right. stuff. It's alright. Um, but yeah, so I I do hope we get by then an anime now. So then we can just you know now to put in useless filler, they can put in useful filler like battle extensions for. No, yeah, that's fine. It's not. No, I have nothing against it at all. It, but I'm just it, yeah. As, as long as I, want, I just want, I want my gifts back. I really <laughs> need gifts for, I mean, I can, especially I gift. what get, get stands. To to show. Oh right, are what... we talking about for the manga? Because <laughs> uh, we don't, because we don't have gifts for the manga there. I was like... No, for the end, you know, this, this is what I want the anime for because you know, oh, yeah, your especially like... what comes to mind most of, of course, obviously is Zanka no Taichi. Um, uh, I'm even trying to like I I was even sitting here trying to like fathom out of my mind exactly how this would work because I know for the one where he freaking raises all the skeletons that might have to be cut up a little bit but it still should be interesting. No, no, you know, you know, what you, you know, I know, I know what you want. You want a, a gif of uh, of Namaya cutting down the servitor. Just, just one, two, three, four. Oh yes, I'm gonna have that on my page. <laughs> I have that on my page. Yes. Oh, I was like, it was like I remember one time. Yes. I remember when um, Gyakuya beating Tsukashima came over out over in the anime, again. and like Gyakuya beating Tsukashima came out in the anime. I'm gonna have like, that on my page. And Sal was like, we have, we have a, a gift on that, please. And I was like, yeah, sure, no worries. Yeah, and we made it like two seconds later, and it wasn't even put on a page. It was like straight on his page, and I was like, okay, so that's why you wanted it. Just like, just like endless stab slash. I got to have it. Stab slash. I'm gonna have it on my page right next to my gif of Gein Dad going freaking killing Aizen and Biakuya freaking blasting Simbanza Korga freaking through uh, Stukashimi. Yeah. <laughs> that made me laugh. I was like, as soon as I made that gif, it was, I thought you were gonna put it somewhere and you didn't. You put it on that page right away. And then, like, yeah, and then, yeah. and then you might put it on other pages. Actually, it was actually, awesome. being, uh, actually, I, I think um, some of the Quincy Dreams. It'll be cool to see like electrocution and uh, uh probably a uh, mass like star star flash the supernova thing he did where he like destroyed half of the of the uh of the one right city with a giant star explosion and shit but you know it's, it's wait it's, a minute it's, when uh, what you call was trying to kill hasagi with the uh what's his name the guy the uh driscoll he had oh, that yeah. big, he had that big javelin thing, and he threw yep. it, and didn't didn't Yamamoto just catch that shit just like yeah, yeah, 
<laughs> no, no, no. What Yamamo does, he appeared and he's like, like he pimp slapped it out of the way. Like, I, get that shit out of here. <laughs> yeah, get that fucking bullshit. Yeah, he I, I love the bit when he got hit with the bankai and he was like, yeah, this isn't his bankai. This is completely. Oh, oh, oh! Perfection. In the gif, in the in a gif, in a gif of Driscoll being incinerated into oh. dust. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> Oh yeah, I, 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 I was reading through that the other day, and I'm like, what did Sal think when he saw this for the first time? He was, he was like, oh my god! I'm gonna tell you right now, son, you will be busy. <laughs> yeah, I know. You will be yeah, no, busy. No, 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 I like no, it. Sal, I, you better I get yourself it. a new computer, because you're you... gonna work it. <laughs> yeah, it's alright, my computer's fine, I got a terabyte of memory on it, my computer's lovely. Like, like I was wondering, like, what, when Sal first saw Driscoll Bay Incinerate, was he like, oh my god! No, so I didn't do fun. that. Well, cause I mean, didn't know us. Like, it was, it was so fucking epic. Yeah. <laughs> Just like... Well, that's another epic bit of it. Boom! If in the anime, I'd actually like to, I'd like, I'd like to see Roy beat the crap out of Kampachi in the anime. I don't know why, I just want to see that, like, if company, like, going up and going I, up. I, I think I already have that gif for you, hold on. But... Uh, of, Ro of Roy beating the crap out of Kampachi? Yeah, hold on. How do you have a gif of that? It's not... Phil, if this is about to be a John Cena joke, I swear. No, no, hold on, I got, I got this. Okay, Why is it John Cena? It, uh, it's a I meme. So. John Cena has become the new Rick, Rick Astley of the internet. No, it, it, it's, it's, it's not. Probably John. because he? he got I haven't his, seen him. That's because that's probably because he got his fucking ass handed to him by freaking the cheer shop jack on John Stewart. <laughs> yeah, no, uh, I have no idea what you're talking about. It, this was before John Cena. Here, here we go. No, I know who John Cena is, but I just I haven't seen any memes anywhere about him, so it's like, just just don't worry about it. I'm not that stupid. It's, it's not. It's not. No, I'm just saying, don't worry about it. It's not worth it. It's not worth it. <laughs> this this is GIF I was telling you about. But yeah, I would probably make it. I would probably make a GIF or a GIF of Nemo cutting off her own hand. Like I love that bit. I love it. Like, yeah, where, did, where did you find this? <laughs> I don't know where, but it's so great. <laughs> <laughs> oh, can I put this on? Go ahead, it's the greatest thing. I want. I want to see if I can get this on the freaking um podcast on the actual. <laughs> it's oh, so brilliant. fucking great. <laughs> <laughs> wow, really? That is brilliant. That's my favorite. Are we still recording? <laughs> You were yeah. still recording. Yeah, we are. I'm gonna see if this works in a friggin' thing. Oh, oh. God, God. Are we still doing answers? <laughs> yeah. Oh, no. So. Oh, yeah. Oh, I, yeah. I, actually, actually, I found some this week. I went. Yeah, see. I, found, I found about ten. But yeah, uh, that 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 that's about the best you're gonna get until the anime comes out. <laughs> oh, I don't think it's working. In it. It's just kind of freezes. Damn. No, just, I wanted it. Just, just uh, just try like. You can probably find like a program that lets you put music over it and save that as an MP4 and then put that. In the uh, in the thing, but yeah, or or just link it. But yeah, that that's what you're gonna get for now. <laughs> uh, I keep awesome. looking at this gift of uh when the go to thirteen arrive during the full bring arc. It, this shit is, I, I knew when I saw the image in the manga, I said, oh, that gift is gonna be so. You know, I said the anime is gonna be so epic, and it yeah, was. It was all. I, li <laughs> I like the way the anime done it. It's so funny because like Ru I think was it uh Ruki and them were like. Him. Yeah, Ruki and then Ruki is standing there with Ichigo, and all you see is Kugo and Tsukushima standing off to the side, and all you see is like the freaking you know lightning flash across the sky, and then the freaking you know thing opens up, and then it you know turns into the daggone doors, and then you just see everybody's shadow, and then it opens up, and it's like Renji, Hitsugaya. <laughs> I know Dirty. it was like fa it was like fan favorites Ikaku. then Ikaku. <laughs> Hey, so that, <laughs> it was just so awesome. I think I think I found a way to put the the GIF into into the um into the video. So you give me a sec. A way? Okay, yeah, on. yeah, uh, I'll I'll do it. But uh, so yeah, this has been uh the review podcast for six hundred forty. So we'll see, see you guys. We'll see you guys for oh, the uh, the answers the next week for six forty one. Mm-hmm. Ciao, guys. Ciao, ciao. Ciao. Oh, oh, that would require me to turn it off. <laughs> yes, you're doing it this time.